I stand here today in solidarity with you. It's a pleasure and a privilege to have been appointed to advise Stand With Hong Kong in the United Kingdom and with the institutions of the European Union. Right now you see that act, advice in action as some of your colleagues, six of your colleagues, are handing in to the door of 10 Downing Street a letter setting out the objectives of Stand With Hong Kong and calling upon the British government to honour its obligations under the Sino-British Joint Declaration on Hong Kong, which is being breached daily on the streets of Hong Kong. Human rights are being denied. The freedom of association is being denied. Freedom to protest is being denied. Freedom of democratic elections is being denied when candidates like Joshua Wong are denied candidacy by the puppet regime of China that is Carrie Lam's administration. But you are not on your own. This morning, politicians from all over the world landed in Hong Kong and got through customs and immigration to observe tomorrow's elections and to ensure that they are free and fair. Of course, they cannot be if candidates are denied the opportunity to stand. But nevertheless, tomorrow is an opportunity for the people of Hong Kong to register their opposition to the anti-democratic, repressive, brutal regime that is being kept in place by the shameful activity of the Hong Kong police force. A letter will be going to Her Majesty the Queen early next week to ask her to remove the word royal from the Royal Hong Kong Police Force Association because it brings shame on the British monarchy that they still call themselves that. In Parliament, just over the road, on the last day before it was dissolved for the general election, we finally established an all-party parliamentary group on Hong Kong. Until now, we had been told it could only ever be a subcommittee of the group on China. But you now have your own all-party parliamentary group. Led, led, led by Baroness Bennett, Natalie Bennett, the former leader of the Green Party, and Alistair Carmichael, the Liberal Democrat Chief Whip, with the full and active engagement of prominent human rights campaigners like Lord Alton of Liverpool. Of course, with the dissolution of Parliament coming 20 hours after it was formed, the group itself is dissolved. And therefore, we're going to get it into the Guinness Book of Records as the shortest lived ever all-party parliamentary group. So that's two in the eye for China already. And we will re-inaugurate it promptly after the general election sees the return of the House of Commons to the Palace of Westminster. In the meantime, its officers, some of them landed in Hong Kong this morning, others are writing in news outlets like EU Observer had a major piece from Ban Baroness Bennett yesterday calling on the whole of the EU to stand with Hong Kong as it has been doing in its forthright statements. So we now say to Boris Johnson, we know you're not actually in number 10, so we're going to have to shout even louder so that wherever you are in the country, you can hear us. Five demands! No one less! Five demands! No one less! Five demands! No one less! Thank you, Chris.